When preparing electrodes for either EEG biofeedback or for QEGs, you're typically going to have one of two types of electrodes. One is going to be uh, cup-shaped with a hole in the center. The other type is going to be just a flat disc. And either way, um, you're going to prepare and clean them basically in the same way. You're going to use 1020 conductive paste. You can use a craft stick, wooden popsicle stick, to get the paste onto the electrode. You can also use um, just a small cheese dip spreader type of knife. And these are actually um, a lot easier to use because they clean very easily. You can use alcohol pads, soap and water, you know, dishwasher, whatever you want to use to clean these whereas um, the popsicle sticks, craft sticks, are going to cause a lot of waste and aren't really reusable. To put the electrode paste on, you're going to want to form sort of a cone. And it's going to be a little larger than the uh, cup of the electrode. You're going to use about the same size if you have the flat electrode disc as well. So this way when you place the electrode onto the person, you're going to press firmly, slowly, but gently. And it should create a seal onto the person's skin. And you'll probably have a little bit of paste all the way around. You can see that's moving a little bit, which is why you probably want to have a headband to hold that wire in place and keep it from moving. When you press this down, you may get a little bit of paste coming out of that center hole. A little bit is fine, but if you have a large amount um, coming out the top, then you probably need to remove that. And you can do that with a Q-tip very easily. The electrode should come off fairly easy when you're ready to remove it. You want to make sure you get all the paste and any new prep or lemon prep, anything um, off of the person's skin. You can use alcohol pads and Kleenexes to do that. To clean the electrode, you can either take a Q-tip, a tissue, um, or just warm water, ivory, and water. Um, there's several different ways to clean these. One way is with a Q-tip. You can just remove the excess paste. And if you have the electrodes with a hole in the center, you may find that there's some paste in the center that's not coming out. If you'll take a Kleenex and just roll it up so it makes a point, you can use that point to stick through the hole and take out any of that excess paste that's hiding out there. If you find you can't get all the paste off in that simple way, or if you want to clean the electrodes to a, to a greater extent. You can also use hot water. You can just get a cup of hot water, dip the electrode in, and kind of swish it around, and it'll remove any excess paste. The paste just sort of dissolves in hot water. You can also use ivory soap and rinse it under the sink. If you use any sort of water with electrodes, and this goes for individual electrodes as well as electrode caps, you want to make sure that you keep the elect the electrode um, attachment in the connector part very dry. So if you use this with a sink or any other liquid, you want to probably keep this higher than the electrode so that the water doesn't run down the wire and get into the connection. So you may want to have some sort of a clip or a hook or something on the wall next to your sink where you can hang that while you're cleaning it. There are two main things that can damage your electrodes. One is going to be leaving excess paste on them for an extended amount of time. You may see that they turn green or get corroded if you leave the paste on. So you want to make sure you get all the paste off completely, not only to save your electrode, but also just for sanitation reasons. The other thing that can cause damage to your electrode is loose wires. And so you want to make sure you handle these pretty carefully. You don't want to do a lot of bending and pulling that's unnecessary.